The great thing about question banks and Storyline is that they allow you to not only organize your questions, but to also randomly serve up those questions to your learners. For example, I would like to create a randomized quiz where my learner will see a different set of 10 questions each time they take the quiz. And maybe I would also like to choose five questions each from two different categories. To do so, if I have my question banks established, I simply do a draw from question bank number one, randomly choose five questions from that question bank, and one more, go to question bank number two, and draw five random questions from that question bank. And that simply, I have just created a randomized 10 question quiz. Simple to create. But the first step, however, is to create our question banks. And that is what we will cover in this tutorial. I'm here in Storyline's story view and I've gone ahead and opened up a fresh file. Up here in the scenes category, you'll notice the question banks icon. From here, I have the ability to both create and manage my question banks. As you can see, Storyline already has a default question bank called Question Bank 1. Now I could choose to open this question bank and begin populating it with questions or create a new question bank. I'm going to go ahead and do that now to walk you through the process. So to create a new question bank, you simply click Create Question Bank and then you give your question bank a name. So let's say I have some application questions in my project, I'm going to call it application questions. I click OK and you'll notice that the name that you gave it is up here in the tab for the question bank. Now I can begin populating this question bank with questions. I can create graded questions, survey questions. I can also import some questions that reside in my project to keep them organized. Let's say that I want to do that, but I know that I've got two different question categories, so I want two question banks. Well, I could go through the process and create a new question bank like I just did. However, I do have this default question bank already existing, so all I have to do is rename that. To do so, I select question bank number one, and I could rename it by either going to my manage question banks area and renaming the selected question bank, or I can simply double click in the tab and call this recall questions. There we go. I have my two question banks. And again, I could begin populating them from here by creating new questions or using the links down here to create questions as well. What I'm going to do though, I do have these questions that I started to create over here in this quiz scene. I would like to bring them in to keep them organized into my question banks. So I simply do this. Application, question bank, import questions. When I do so, it'll show me all of the slides in my project. And let's say these three questions here are my application questions. I can choose to either copy them over to my question bank, which will leave them out there in that scene, or move them into my question bank, which is what I will do right now. I select OK, and you'll notice that they are no longer out here in this scene. We have these three, which I want in my recall question bank, so I will import them. One, two, three, and move them into my question bank. I click OK, and now you'll see that they no longer reside here. They are indeed in my question banks, and my question banks are now created and ready for me to use, and that's all there really is to creating question banks in Storyline. You're now ready to begin using them in your project, and that's what we're going to cover in the next tutorial.